I'm going to show you how to make that little fence thing. So in your packet of supplies, you have one little tub of glue, a piece of cardboard, a few Q-tips, two wooden coffee stir sticks, 10 little popsicle sticks, and nine jumbo craft sticks. So the first thing we need to do is make our supports. So we need our glue and our 10 popsicle sticks. So we're gonna use the Q-tip as our paintbrush for the glue, because when we're done with it, we just throw it in the garbage can and easy peasy. All right, so we're gonna take five of our popsicle sticks. We're gonna pick one up and just paint it with some white glue. I'm just dotting it all along. Okay, it's almost like we're making a little popsicle stick sandwich. So I've got the glue on there. Take a second one and stack it right on top. And take the, take some more glue. So I'm not pushing real hard here at first while I'm just getting the glue on, we'll uh, clamp them together. And one more popsicle stick. So I've got five with glue sandwiched in between all the layers. Now, if you're at home and you don't have these things called binder clips, you can just sit here and hold your sticks together. And just kind of work them together, make sure they're nice and neatly stacked, nice straight edges. It's okay if the glue mushes out. It's just Elmer's glue. It washes right off your hands. So you can hold them, but if you happen to have any of these at, at your home, they're called binder clips. So I'm clipping it so that the tip of it is evenly on the middle. And it's nice to have two. So this is just like in real woodworking, you would have clamps to help keep things together while they dry. Okay, so I'm gonna set that aside and I need to make a second stack of five. So here's one. Again, you can just, if you're at home alone, you can hold them together until they begin to dry. or if you have any of these, clamp them together. We're trying to make sure that they are nice and straight walls so it supports our fence better. So make sure they're in line. There we go. And we set that aside. So let's start to make our fence. So the first thing you need to do is take your nine are your eight popsicle sticks, eight of the nine. And we're going to trim the base of it off. So I'm just going right where it starts to curve right there and cut straight across with just regular household scissors. Things will go flying. Okay, so I have cut my eight pieces and now they have all have straight edges on the bottom. That's gonna help them stand up better as opposed to if they had the curve. Okay, we're gonna line them up. Now, if you wanted a fence that was uneven or looked old or you're making your fence into something else for your little movie set, you know, you could make them uneven. You could cut the edges. If you wanted a picket fence, you would cut the top like little pointy edges but I'm just gonna build the basic fence. I'm also one popsicle stick short. I didn't bring enough home. So yours is gonna be eight popsicle sticks wide. Mine is only seven. All right, so once you have them lined up and in the shape that you want them, if you wanna have a little gap in between, you could spread them out just a little bit more, but we're gonna be making a line of glue with, this, um, with the stir sticks. We're gonna put the line of glue on the stir sticks. I think I wanna have a little gap in between all of mine, so I'm gonna spread them out. 
So they can all be touching or they can be spread out. I do need to cut this first. Decide if you want this showing or not. Okay, so I need to trim this popsicle stick about, right? Or the stir stick. Right there. Same thing for the other one, make them the same. All right, and we're just gonna roll a good amount of glue. It's okay if it smushes out. And then lay it across the top, maybe about an inch or two from the top. Make sure my edges are all in line with each other and then press it down. Okay, do the same thing on the bottom edge. Don't be shy with this glue, you got plenty of it. it goes a long way. And again, place this about an inch or two from the bottom. Now some of y'all had some other ideas on what you wanted this to look like, so you need to talk with me about how to make some changes or give me your ideas of what you want it to look like and how you can change this up. Okay, so we wanna put something heavy, like a book. What do I have? I have, I'm in my kitchen. I've got a kitchen pot. So I'm just gonna set this right on top of my little fence. I'm gonna scoot it out of the way. All right, let's get ready to put our supports onto our board. Hopefully we've given this enough time to dry. Let's see if I take these off. Yeah, it's held. Okay. All right, so we're gonna, we're gonna take these two little popsicle stick sandwiches, five and five with the glue in between, and we're going to position it onto our board. So they can be um, anywhere on the board, like do you want more space in the front for your props, or do you want it perfectly in the center, you decide. But we're gonna put them side by side like this, and the reason we had an extra popsicle stick is we need to have this much width between the two. Okay, so let's go ahead and lay one down and then we'll figure out how to place this second one. All right, so a fair generous amount of glue dobbed all along. You definitely want this to mush out of the bottom. Okay, so figure out where you want to place it and just set it down. Nice gentle press. Hold that down. Okay, let's do the second one. Generous amount of glue. And close to it, let's set it down. All right, now I'm gonna take this extra popsicle stick and set it between. This isn't gonna stay, this is gonna get removed, but this helps us Give us a nice strong support. Okay, once I have them tight on either side of that jumbo popsicle stick, I can take the popsicle stick out and don't let them get any closer. And let's just apply pressure for a few seconds to help it stick. So I've been holding pressure. I had something heavy sitting on top of these two popsicle sticks for about five minutes. And I don't think they're going anywhere and this should be nice and sturdy and all together and it is so there is my little fence oh no that one fell off let's put a little more glue on that okay so my fence needed a little more time to dry and i think i'm going to go add just a little more glue in places like on top of that crossbar these popsicle sticks might not necessarily be perfectly flat. I mean, they're not high quality wood or anything. So I'm just gonna dab a little more glue to help keep it together and then let that air dry. So I'll be back in about 30 minutes. 
So as you can see, this is something that, you know, it's not just gonna be five minutes, you're done. You gotta give it time to dry or else it's gonna fall apart on you. And if you have that problem where it's falling apart, just add more glue, give it a little more time, come back the next day. That's why we have so much time on this project. Okay, well, I'm gonna go make some pimento cheese and check on this in a little while. So I gave my fence about 30 minutes to dry. Um, again, under some heavy stuff, just to press it together. It's still a little wet, but I think I can pick it up now and it won't fall apart. So I think we're good. So I'm going to, again, get my glue and one of my Q-tips. And I'm really gonna fill this gap between the two popsicle stamp stick sandwiches over here. I'm gonna really glob some glue in there. Good, heavy amount. Get ready to set my fence in there. So once you get that glue piled in there, we're going to set our fence up right and think about, is this the front or is this the front? And then which side of your cardboard, what's facing forward? So I'm gonna do it like this. This is my back. And this should just fit between those two popsicle sandwiches. I kind of work it in there a little bit. Okay, I'm having a little trouble on one side. There we go, clicked into place. Get it pushed in anymore, good. Okay, so that is now holding my fence upright between those popsicle sticks. And I'm just gonna go back one more time with my glue and dab it along the front edge and around the base, just so this thing is not going anywhere. And that is the basics of building your popsicle fence.